WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got a mixed market so far today to kick things off. S&P negative 11 points, trading at 27.89. NASDAQ currently negative by 38, trading at 76.04. And the Dow currently negative 72 points, trading at excuse me, 25,430. As we start off the two o'clock update, as we have the market trading a bit lower, checking in on the volatility index VIX, spiked to a high of 17.85 this morning as the market traded to lower territory, back above 17 currently, 17.13, up about 4% on that VIX. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the S&Ps. So a little bit of a roller coaster in both directions today. There is your opening bell bar. About 2799, call it 2800 on the dot. S&P is about five points below that level, approaching the lows that we made of 2794, 2793, just at about 1030 this morning. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. We get volatility in both directions this morning, approaching the lows that we made just after 10 a.m. this morning of 7294. You get the NASDAQ 100 trading 7316. Dow 30, 25,476. Lows this morning, just under 25,400. We'll call it 25,398. Crude oil trading a bit higher. We're back above $59, barely $59 and a half a penny. Gold contract trading higher for most of the day. Check out that gold contract early in the session. Well, I guess that's 10 o'clock last night. There's midnight on the chart right there, 1315. Gold trading at 1322.43 as we speak, right up there near those highs. And Euro US dollar trading 113.16. Big day for Apple out there as they are announcing their new streaming TV service, holding an event at their headquarters in Cupertino, California. And they have just announced their streaming TV service. For some of us, the big bundle is more than we need. So we designed a new TV experience where you can pay for only the channels you want all in one app, Apple saying. And to check out how Apple is reacting on that news, probably not quite what they would want to expect. Down about 1.6% today. Approaching those lows we made earlier in the day of about 187.25. Stay tuned. We've got a man Dave White coming up right now at the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien will be back live from 3 till 5. We'll see what happens. Two hours left in the trading day. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Monday.